What is going on YouTube? Hey, back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we do have to look at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Now, yesterday was an interesting day. We made a video in regards to possibly getting in on a trade on the uh, Ethereum charts here. Just a few days ago, we had confirmed closure above a major resistance level here on Ethereum. About two days ago, you can see we were inside an ascending fractal here, and we said, hey, if we break through this resistance up top here in blue, that's an opportunity to buy in aggressive nonetheless but an opportunity and we said that you know we could get in right here and put a tight stop loss just in case we decide to dip just in case but uh you know of a potential potential uh what is it bull trap right here and as you can see that is a big possibility that's happening right now it has happened in the past here which is why it was no surprise and also why i said this is a very aggressive trade not a conservative trade at all currently i'm not stopped out though but i'm holding on by a hairline literally the skin on my teeth any lower that ethereum goes today and i'm getting stopped out and then we'll move on from there you, we, there were other opportunities to kind of lock in profits here maybe not on bid fi but you know if you had another exchange that allowed you to move stop losses up otherwise um i'm a sitting duck right now trying to see where this goes i'm hoping praying that we bounce off that and head up higher maybe not today maybe we reverse out of it today or maybe tomorrow we bounce off of it and start to move back to the upside here that's what i'm hoping is going to happen but if not i am going to get stopped out and i am going to lose just a a little bit of money from this trade here but it's all within good faith and we'll get it on the next one but um besides ethereum we're also going to be looking at things like xrp which maybe is breaking below its uptrend here we haven't really put on a any sort of trade on xrp in a little bit now the only real trades that we've done were uh you know actually we did do a few trades a couple of days ago we did have the beautiful symmetrical triangle right here and we did have the beautiful bull flag formation here as well so we have had big trades but for the past couple of days when i'm talking about this we haven't really traded anything because we were hitting major resistance on the weekly charts right here and pretty much hanging out we so immediately wicked right back down below and we've been pretty much waiting to see what exactly is going to happen with this so in the past couple of days we haven't done anything we have made profitable trades so i feel comfortable waiting right now like and and seeing what's going to happen here and now that we've you know confer or are starting to trend below this uptrend here there's a good chance we could start to dip even lower back down to retest moving average especially when you look at the macd which is potentially about to have a bearish cross but otherwise we will be looking at bitcoin too which is trending outside of its ascending triangle and the s p which may or may not be heading lower i'm not sure just yet we do have a beautiful bull flag that we did break out of here uh we just need to see are we going to bounce off this and head up higher continuing the higher low pattern or are we going to be falling back down creating a new a new high yet again and doing something like this because if that's the case and we do something along the lines of this then we would have some sort of symmetrical triangle that we could pretty much base our trades off of here and then expect to see either bullish or bearish break but I'll talk a little bit more about that later on in today's video with all that being said though definitely make sure to smash the like button turn on post notifications subscribe and let's dive into today's episode so not really sure to be where to begin um I guess looking at yesterday's videos here i did make a video uh you know about two days ago these two videos here referencing the ethereum breakup potentially high risk trade on a potential bull flag formation here yes we've been seeing a lot of you know uh, occurrences of bull flag forming i'm not exactly sure why that's happening but it is nonetheless so it's not a big deal um it's just something that we've been referencing here now this hap this bull flag formed inside of what appears to be a major ascending fractal here which is also interesting but you know we'll talk about the ethereum trade in a second with you i'm going to start off looking at the current coin market cap then we'll dive into uh the eth trade here but you can see right now we're down about 1.63 percent most of the markets are consolidating uh what went up is now going down which is funny you can see bitcoin went up now it went right back down to the same point ethereum went up right back down bnb same thing xrp is going a little bit lower you can almost see a downtrend that could be drawn here but for the most part consolidation is taking over about 1.63 percent on the ethereum trade i pretty much covered everything that needed to be said here we're at it we're, you know we're just a fraction above the stop loss here potentially getting hit and then there's a chance that we could drop lower not something that I want to see because I don't think that's going to happen it doesn't look like that's the uh the probability that's going to that we're going to see a pullback here but you know you never know it's still on the table uh but ideally with the bull flag forming here and the fact that we broke out of the bull flag to the upside here and the fact that we broke through this resistance screams to be more so potentially swinging to the upside the only problem 
with a continuation pattern like this is it would send us into extreme overbought. Now, it's obviously still a huge possibility. It's still very much so possible, but we'll see if we have enough, you know, steam left in the tank or gas left in the tank to continue to pump to the upside here because it, I'm kind of 50-50 on this right now. I really am not entirely sure what's going to happen, but we did take a risk. We took an aggressive risk nonetheless and bought in here hoping that we would continue to the upside here. If we fall a little bit lower here, Stop loss will get hit, and then maybe we'll switch positions with the anticipation of movement back down to moving average here. That's a huge possibility that could happen, but we won't know until later on in today's, you know, later on in today or today or later on tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure. Sorry, I'm all over the place if I am lots on my mind, but ideally we are doing all these trades on BidFi, the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. It allows you to buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, literally everything you can think of not only for ethereum which is really cool or bitcoin you can see ethereum's right here where we're, i've been doing these leverage trades uh you can see right here short long create your leverage margin stop loss take profits and then your stop loss ratio super easy and i also spoke to BidFi, and they will be adding very soon a way to move your stop loss up into the trade i told them i put a message in and requested it. And they said they are working on that. So that's exciting too. Uh, so later on in the, probably in maybe this month or next month in the year, we should be able to get access to that. So I'm excited about that. But What's really cool about BidFi is the fact that they offer XRP. That's what makes this exchange so much so unique compared to all the rest is the fact that, you know, XRP is offered on here. That's huge. Not many exchanges offer that. And this is where we've been leverage trading and just holding on long term to XRP. Now, besides that, they do have a demo account, which I highly recommend you take advantage of for those that are watching. If you haven't already signed up completely free to BidFi down in the description below, make sure to do so because if you're hesitant about trading cryptocurrency, this is how you can do it risk-free and test your skills or just do it for fun because you know it is you know trading crypto is extremely risky as everybody should know uh you know so do do what you will with that information here but what i always say is use them and you know use the free you know uh, monopoly money just to test your skills and you have nothing to lose uh so it's like a simulator it's a simulator for a cryptocurrency and leverage trading nothing changes to a website besides the amount on your balance here and you can get familiar with the platform and if you really feel the need to to uh, use real cryptocurrency, which um, I don't recommend. I think you should just use the demo account. That's my opinion here because it is, you know, oh, this is called educated gambling, you know, and if you're not in a position then it is risky, but that's up to you. But otherwise, they do offer a uh, welcome rewards bonus where you can earn up to $2,888 completely free by A, signing up in the description down below, or B, if you've already signed up, to just click welcome rewards right here, and you'll be able to earn um, you know, up to $2,800, which is super cool. So like I said, link is down in the description. Make sure to sign up, and then literally click on these. Click on sign up rewards, click on Google Authentic Authenticator, anti-phishing code reward, join the community, so on and so forth. All all these different ways of earning tons of money and even the feedback, which is also super cool. So make sure to check it out. Link is down in the description below. And moving forward and on to XRP here. The problem now that we're facing, you know, it's very interesting. I do believe we're going to continue to the upside here. We did beautifully break out of the bull flag formation here. We had a beautiful bull flag, finally broke through, exploded to the upside. That's the other thing with the potential bear traps forming on Ethereum right now. This is by no means a surprise because this has also happened on XRP on numerous occasions here and we fell for it the first time you know got stopped out but we made up for it on this second rally right here which was incredible over 50 percent profits here and we also bought in long at 38 cents many 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 weeks ago and now we're trading at 49 cents so we're up about 11 cents on the coin which is huge news too very much so in the profits so you can see right here so i'm totally fine you know having fun trading around with this but we are currently up 31% on what was 55, 56, but we will be heading back up to there, I'm sure, in the next couple of weeks. Now, problem is right now, there's a chance we could be dipping lower in a continuation to the upside. I believe now we're gonna continue to move up, either something like this, or maybe we'll just rebound off bottom support and head to the upside here. But the reason I believe this is going to happen is because of the moving average right here. We're about to have a bearish cross on the MACD. We're trading at about 59, 60 on the RSI. I have a gut feeling we are going to be heading lower before we head higher now on these coins unless something changes in the very near future but for the time being lots of signs of potential healthy recovery in the markets before we see any sort of movement that could also apply to ethereum and potentially even bitcoin too bitcoin more so 
said, screw the, you know, ascending triangle that we drew. That's not really holding on that well. I mean, we could stretch it. I have a feeling I could get away with stretching this. If I move this like this and I move this up ever so slightly, I, we could stretch it like this and it does still for the most part makes sense. Uh, so we are still within what appears to be an ascending triangle, but you can see we're slowly getting constricted, slowly filling in the gap here. The prices are getting very much so, you know, weaker. The volume is getting very much so weaker. We're filling this in. We are getting very, very, very close for a pop or a dump to happen very soon. This is typical, but you can see the major swings have slowly got more constricted and they are building, building up steam. And we are going to pop very, very, very soon, which is also exciting. So big movements on Bitcoin, which will probably influence Ethereum too. And probably the S&P 500, whichever way that works. You know, if the S&P decides to rally, then we could see that same thing happen with, with Bitcoin as well. But, you know, I'm keeping my, my eyes and ears open. I'm focused on these markets right now because we are in an interesting position. And there is still a big possibility we could fall lower. Now, there's two ways or three ways to go around this. If we decide to bounce off this and head up, I don't think we have much more room to head up. And then we'll be heading lower like this. And I think this will be the continuation pattern. And then you'll be able to see we are creating high or low movements here, which is awesome. Now, if that's not the case and this doesn't happen, then I would expect that we are going to correct downwards here and make some sort of kind of symmetrical pattern like this, where we could then draw an uptrend like this and a downtrend like this, and we'll fill in the gap here, and then we'll see a break or a dump at the end, probably to the upside here. But these are kind of the two scenarios that we have. So if we do decide to head up, it's not gonna be by much. And if we do decide to correct, it's not gonna be by much either. And we will create some sort of symmetrical triangle that will lead to another break very soon. But that's pretty much all I have for today's video. Definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.